Hey, hey, welcome back to week two of Bounce Back. I love the word resilience. Resilience means getting back up when something gets you down. You know, I have to be honest with you, and I know this won't come as a surprise, but sometimes, well, life is hard. <laughs> Not only that sometimes it seems like it can get harder, Life is kind of like an obstacle course, which leads us to our bottom line. Keep going even when things get tough. Yeah, and our key passage is, but those who trust in the Lord will receive new strength. They will fly as high as eagles. They will run and not get tired. They will walk and not grow weak. Isaiah 40, 31. Let's worship. Woo! When the night is darkest and I feel weary, I'm not Six books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Acts, chapters 3 and four. With the power of God's Spirit, the brand new church was growing and spreading like wildfire. One afternoon, Peter and John approached the temple at a very special time for prayer. So many people who need to hear the truth about Jesus. 
Peter and John neared one of the gates that led into the temple courtyard. Crowds streamed in and out, but only one man seemed to notice them. Spare a few coins? Peter and John glanced down and noticed a man lying on the mat behind the gate. Since he was born, the man had been unable to walk, and every day his friends carried him to the temple to beg for money. I have seen him before. Look at us. The man held out his hand. Please, I just need enough for a, a few bites of bread. I don't have any silver or gold. The man dropped his eyes. He had learned to pretend he didn't care when people rejected him. But I'll give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. The man looked up in shock. Surely Peter was mocking. But before he could withdraw his hand, Peter grasped it firmly. Wait! I, I, I... The man felt warmth and strength rushing into his body, down his legs, into his feet. Ooh, what's happening? Looking down, the man realized he was standing strong on his own two feet. How is this possible? The man took a step. I'm walking! <laughs> I, I'm walking! The man took a hop. A skip. And then he grabbed Peter's hand and John's and he began to dance. Look at me! I can walk! Praise God! A crowd quickly gathered. What on earth is happening? Fellow Israelites, why does this surprise you? It's not as if we've made this man walk by our own power or godliness. Well, it kind of looks like that. The God of our fathers has done this. God has brought glory to Jesus who serves him. You handed Jesus over to be killed, but God raised him from the dead. We are witnesses of this. This man was made strong because of faith in Jesus' name. Faith in Jesus has healed him completely. Well, I declare I don't even know which way is up anymore. Turn away from your sins. Turn to God. Then your sins will be wiped away. God sent Jesus to you to bless you. He wanted to turn each of you from your evil ways. Amen. All together now. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hundreds gathered to listen to Peter and John, and many of them believed. But the religious leaders, dun dun dun, were not happy. Not happy? Oh no. A thesaurus, please. We are furious, incensed, hacked, livid, enraged. The religious leaders sent guards to seize Peter and John and throw them in jail. The next morning, Annas, the high priest, and the other religious leaders gathered and met together. Bring out the prisoners. Peter and John were hauled out of their cells and brought to stand before the leaders, along with the man who could now walk. You got this. Peter and John must have looked common and scruffy in their simple robes, but they stood tall with their heads held high. By what power did you do this? And through whose name? God's spirit filled Peter, giving him the words to speak. Rulers and elders of the people, do you want to know why we were kind to a man who couldn't walk? Are you asking how he was healed? Please get to the point. Listen to this. You and all the people of Israel, you nailed Jesus to the cross, but God raised him from the dead. It is through Jesus' name that this man stands healed in front of you. Scripture says that Jesus is the stone you builders did not accept, but it has become the most important stone of all. You can't be saved by believing in anyone else. God has given people no other name under heaven that will save them. Ooh, snap! Take them away. We need a minute. The guards hustled Peter, John, and the man who could walk out of the room. How can they speak so boldly? They're just a couple of common fishermen, no training at all. Well, you can tell they've been with Jesus. Not helping. Come on, what do we do with these men? Everyone saw the miracle Peter did. We can't say it didn't happen. <sighs> we must stop them. No more. This ends here. Guards! The guards herded Peter and John back in before the leaders. We've 
had it. Up to here. You must never speak to anyone in Jesus' name again. Or else. Or else what? Or else something. Which is right in God's point of view? Should we listen to you? Or should we listen to God? You be the judges. There's nothing else we can do. We have to speak about the things we've seen and heard. Oh, fiddlesticks. Look, just don't do it. The religious leaders couldn't quite figure out how to punish Peter and John, especially now since all the people were praising God for what had happened. Fine, go. Just go? Leave, Amscray, hit the bricks, vamoose, skedaddle. So the man who could walk danced his way home. And Peter and John returned to their friends. Instead of caving in when the road got hard, they relied on God's spirit to lift them up and keep going. And the new church quickly grew to over 5,000 new Jesus followers. Our Bible study today was so good. Right? Peter and John had been through a lot, like being arrested and being thrown into prison. Mm, and they had to speak up and defend themselves against the leaders. But even though everything, they stayed strong. Yeah, and when they got knocked down, guess what? They got right back up. But that wasn't because of their own strength or knowledge. Oh, that's right. It was because of the God's Spirit working through them. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this amazing example of resilience from Peter and John. When things got tough, they got back up again. They kept going even when they had to face some really big challenges. Because of your spirit, they found the strength they needed to bounce back. Each of us in this room is facing a different tough situation too. Please help each of us show resilience and keep going even though things get tough. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bye guys, we'll see, see you ya. soon. It's hard to hear. Get back up. Come on and crush your fear. Get back up. You're gonna persist.